Tori Harris. This is my informative video on my illustrious neighborhood, Barn Valley. Lord East, 216, Cleveland, Ohio. Been living down here for 24 years. We moved in 1989. Um, as you look around, you can see it's not the best neighborhood, but it's what I know and it's what I love. It's a housing complex built in 1969. From 1969 to 1973, it was in the top five biggest housing projects in America. As you can see, we have kids all over the place. It's what I knew. Been down here since I was nine years old. Now I'm 33. I love my neighborhood. There's a lot of history down here. Um, we got the dump back there, which I'll show you later. And in the dump, it's awesome because it's like a football field, right? That the Cleveland Browns used to use for practice. Now they practice in Berea, Ohio, which is on the west side of Cleveland. But in the 60s and early 70s, this is where they were. Garn Valley, Lower East, 216, Cleveland, Ohio. As a matter of fact, let's go, let's go check it out. Let's go check out the dump. Show you where the Browns used to practice. Here's the dump. Now, back in the day, before this was built, before Rainbow Terrace was built, this used to be a garbage dump. So, you know, a lot of people make fun of us and say we live on top of a garbage dump. But back there, when you see those trees covering up back, I'm not going back there, so you just have to take my word for it. It's still the goalposts up there from when the Browns used to practice back there. And yes, the late, well, not the late great, but the great Jim Brown practiced right back there. I wish we had access to back there because in the wintertime, when the trees are gone, you can see the goalposts from when the Browns used to practice. So it's pretty cool. It's a lot of history here. But this is the dump. This is like the park inside of our neighborhood. This is the field where Garden Valley's Little League baseball team plays. And this is also the practice field of the Garden Valley Falcons, Muni League team of Cleveland, Ohio. So it's a pretty great place. Pretty great place. I will have it no other way. This hill right here made for some of the funnest snow sledding times ever. Man, we just had fun down here. I love this place. And as you see, it's pretty woozy, a very natural and serene environment right there. But right across the street, we have another type of jungle. But like I say, it's my neighborhood, and I love it. Um, so what we're going to do now, we're going to show you the new Anti, which is um, the elementary school that basically everybody who grew up down here and all the little kids you see running around here either went to or go to right now, including my little sister, Madison. How you doing? Now this is actually known as Garden Valley right here. You see it's a new development. They tore the old ones down and they rebuilt. Um, so we have like newer properties in the, in the neighborhood now. This used to be like brick buildings, run down, you know, little critters running around. Wasn't a pretty sight. But now they have them beautiful. You know, I just hope the people of the community understand what they have and, you know, do some real nice upkeep with it. This is Anton Gordini, the new Anton Gordini. As you see, it's a state of the art school. I hope the kids enjoy it and utilize all the resources that it will provide for the neighborhood. It's a beautiful place. This is the old Garden Valley right here. This is what I grew up with. You know, it's kind of sad to see it go, but I do understand that we need change. But this is the community that was 
before the new ones that we showed you. And the new Anton Gradina School was incorporated into the new buildings. The old Anton Gradina School was incorporated into the original building that had been standing since 1969. So, I guess it's safe to say, rest in peace, Garden Valley. This is the old Anton Gradina in the middle of Garden Valley, right across the street. Rainbow Terrace up that way. So it was right in the middle of the community. All the kids had to do was just walk to school. They still do. The other one's right over there. But you know, this was like an ideal spot for the neighborhood. But this is the old Anton Gradina, the original Anton Gradina, built in 1969. They're about to tear it down. My little sister, when she went here, she was in all of these classrooms. I remember being in this principal's office right here. My mom was sick. She had cancer, so I spent a lot of time in this principal's office. You know, coming to get my little sister, checking on her, bringing things. The auditorium's right there. You know, I remember it like the back of my hand. Now, I never went to Anton Gradina because when I moved down here, um, I was like in another school, a magnet school, School of the Arts. But all of my friends went here to Anton Gradina from the neighborhood. I was getting bussed out. But this is definitely what it is. This is a part of us. This is a part of the neighborhood. This is what makes it special, and we hate to see it go. So, peace to the old Anton. We love you. Me and my little sister trying to get, like, some bricks from it, maybe, to commemorate. But, you know, it is what it is. This is the illustrious hill in Garden Valley. This is the housing complex I grew up in, once again, Rainbow Terrace. This hill right here is what, what makes it a valley. Now, where we just came from down the hill with Anton and everything else, you know what I'm saying? That's Garden Valley. But at one point in time, it was a beautiful place. All of these structures right here, they've been standing for maybe like 12 years now. This just used to be one big, long, green hill. So all of the pathways, all of the sidewalks and everything you see is new. It only been standing for maybe 12 years now. But, you know, it's just a facelift of the neighborhood. And the complex actually is two complexes in one. Because if you look all the way down there, you can see the old Garden Valley that they're tearing down, building back up now. And then you see how close it runs to Rainbow Terrace all the way down here. So, you know, at one point in time, it was a very illustrious hood. It's changing. But I'm glad to see change. I just hope everybody utilizes the resources and respect what's going on right now.